Hi everybody, this prayer is for anyone that deals with any type of depression or if you're dealing with negative thoughts, negative feelings, you're just having a bad day, you're feeling down that day, or if you really, really have been battling for years with depression, this prayer really, really works. Not only does this prayer work for depression, but also believing that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Jesus died to 39 stripes on his back. And then rose again and was healed whole and well on the third day for us to be healed whole and well. So um, we don't have to believe the enemy's lies about our health. We don't have to believe the enemy's lies about our well-being and how we are supposed to feel every day. It is a choice. It is up to us. And it is the word of God that we are delivered from all sickness um whether it be mental whether it be physical um whether it be spiritual so father you are my refuge and my high tower and my stronghold in times of trouble i lean on and confidently put my trust in you for you have not forsaken me i seek you on the authority of your word and the right of my necessity i praise you the help of my countenance and my god lord you lift up those who are bowed down therefore i am strong and my heart takes courage i establish myself on righteousness right standing in conformity with your will and your order i am far even from the thoughts of oppression or destruction for i fear not i am far from terror for it shall not come near me father you have thoughts and plans for my welfare and my peace and my mind and stayed on you i stopped allowing myself to be agitated disturbed intimidated cowardly and unsettled I resist every oppressive spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I resist fear, discouragement, self-pity, depression, lack, sadness, regret, dwelling on the past, overthinking, and anything that would exalt itself against your truth for my life, Heavenly Father. I resist all negative spirits, all negative thinking in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak the word of truth in the power of God. I give no place to the enemy. I give no opportunity to the enemy. I am delivered by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Father, for guarding my heart and my mind with all diligence. For out of it flows the issues of life. Heavenly Father, I thank you that I have been given the spirit of power, love, and of a calm, well-balanced mind. I have discipline and self-control. I hold the mind of Christ, and I hold the thoughts and feelings and purposes of his heart. I have a fresh mental and spiritual attitude. I am constantly renewed in the spirit, in the power of my mind, with your word, Heavenly Father. Father, I thank you for blessing me with the spirit of peace and with us the spirit of joy therefore i brace up reinvigorate cut through make firm and straight paths for my feet safe upright and happy paths that go in the right direction i arise from the circumstances around me i arise i arise to new life i shine i am radiant with the glory of the lord father heavenly father we thank you in jesus christ of nazareth mighty name that we are set free from every evil work we praise you that the joy of the lord is our strength and our stronghold in jesus christ of nazareth mighty name and hallelujah and glory to god for answer prayers heavenly father we speak this prayer over anybody's life that this video comes in contact with we speak this a word over from the sound of my voice to their ears heavenly father to their heart let them receive it let them believe it heavenly father one thing that you told us is that in your word you want us to confess confess our faults confess our sins confess what's hurting us confess what's hurt us don't hide it if you are depressed or you're going through depression or you have some issues it's okay to share it it's not okay to share with everybody you want to share with people that can really help you or pray for you um but even if you have to confess to a complete stranger in order to free yourself the enemy holds us in bondage with secrets with shame make us feel bad about what we're going through what we've been through what we think what we feel um and the truth really does set us free and believing you know believing that god 
sent his son Jesus to heal us from all pain, whether it be physical, spiritual, or mental. Um, you have to speak the word over your life. You have to speak life over your life. You can't speak death over your life and expect life. You have to speak life over your life. And God said he will hearken to his word. He said that you are healed by the stripes of his son, Jesus. So right now we speak healing over your life and it's for you to believe it. Healing starts in your mind and in your spirit. If you believe it, you can receive it. If you don't believe it, you won't receive it. Forgiveness. We have to forgive on a daily basis. If we don't forgive and we let things fester and let things harbor and build up inside of us, we will get sickness. We will get depression. <clears throat> we will have bondage. Forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. Um, so, I speak life over you. I speak life over you. I speak the word of God over you. Don't let the enemy trick you with keeping what you're going through a secret. Is when you start to confess and open yourself all the way up that you can be healed. But when you have secrets and you hide things and you um, harbor things inside, it's, you can't give freedom that way. So the truth set you free. Believing set you free. Speaking the word of life. The word of God. Speaking life over your life set you free the, the name of jesus set you free we speak freedom and deliverance right now over your life in jesus christ of nazareth mighty name glory to god glory to god this is the day the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it glory to god